What is up everybody? So it's been about a year since I've been on YouTube guys. So uh, you know I've received a couple of DMs, some comments from people um, about my previous video and it's now been a year and two days since I had the surgery. Thought it was a good time to give you guys an update. The reason why it took so long guys because you know I just wanted to go through the whole process before making this video until I was back to 100% and I'm definitely at that point now. Let me just start out with guys. Um, backtrack to that first video. Let's go back over it. Those first two weeks, you're just going to chill, guys. You can go back to my previous video to see what I said about the first two weeks. Um, that next five, six week mark, guys, get back in the gym. Um, you're just going to be doing bodyweight exercises, lightweight, really not pushing anything hard, not doing anything to mess up the surgery, letting that thing heal. Um, then after that six weeks, guys, it's not going to be just like a, okay, you're back to 100%. Um, it actually took me a while. I wouldn't say I got 100% to about October, which would be eight months post-surgery because it got done in February. Um, to where I was like back to like 100% strength, 100% output, uh, training like I used to. And even even still today, guys, my training really isn't the same as it was before the surgery. And uh, we'll get all into that. Um, so I want to say, let's start the six-week mark, guys. Um, at the six-week mark, that's when I started getting back to training. I wore the gauze around my stomach um, for a while and tried to switch to a belt um, just to like give the area like more support while I'm working out. Um, just didn't want to risk it, just gave me ease of mind so I knew, uh, you know, I wouldn't just uh, ruin like the surgery or bust it open or whatever my mind might have to make me feel like I was scared in the gym to, you know, push weights as hard as I could. Um, it really was guys, like for months, let's say with like deadlifts, squats, even bench press, like the main heavy compound movements guys, never by about rows. I just couldn't do them. Um, it just put too much pressure where it just like felt like the, where the surgery was just gonna pop open and break out. So uh, I really had to like really go back to the basics guys, everything. I really had to start with getting my all my mind muscle connection back to everything. It was really like starting over from scratch. And like I said from the previous video, how my appetite was super low, a lot of weight. I went from 185 to 171 and then like it slowly came back. But it was a, it was a long road back guys. Um, you know, I had some like GI issues, couldn't really pinpoint it, they eventually went away. Um, not sure if the surgery related or not, or if it was because I didn't have a lot of food and my body wasn't used to, you know, eating six meals a day again and stuff like that. But, you know, adding the weight back on, guys, was a challenge. Um, you know, right now, a year from the surgery, I guess like around 10 months post last time I made this video, I was like 171, getting to one, back to 180, I'm back to 215. Um, so I'm the heaviest and strongest I've ever been. So you guys that have made like 100% recovery. Um, so that's been great. But as for the training guys, really had to bring everything back to the basics. And you know, it was a struggle guys, but at the same time it's kind of a blessing because it kind of gave me a new chance to rebuild my physique and do it correctly. Because you know, um, for a lot of my years, until I really got into the bodybuilding world, I didn't really understand you know, hypertrophy, how to train correctly for bodybuilding because that's just like what I do. So I really got to start over again and really focus on right movement patterns, you know, how to change my lifting style because I couldn't really hit um, the heavier weights and the squats, deadlifts, stuff that I used to do. So I really had to adjust my training to be able to, you know, really target a muscle um, using like lighter weight, you know, getting to that true failure, stuff like that. But, you know, that could be a whole other video of uh, just explaining hypertrophy. So it really gave me a chance to rebuild everything, guys. And it really took me about eight months to get back to like 100% output. So I would say the biggest thing that like hindered me for a lot of time was just not trusting the surgery, I guess. Because, you know, on some poles, rack poles, deadlift squats, you know, um, when you're in the bottom of the pole or, uh, you know, you're trying to get the bar off the ground, um, you create internal pressure. And like, I don't know if it was the scar tissue or what, but for a while it just felt like, you know, someone's sticking a knife in my gut. Um, and I just had to kind of work around it, but I also feel at the same time as as part of the recovery process guys You need to push yourself as well um, Because 
it's all gone away. Like I said before, post-surgery, I had that kind of like bump over where the surgery was, which was scar tissue. And you know, as I trained, as I worked on everything, um, that's, that bump went away, you know, and every feel, everything feels like normal again as if I didn't have the surgery. So um, that's just kind of what like I felt through everything. So I would say it's just like, you know, just play it by ear, kind of, kind of see where your body's at, test it, but don't just, you know, throw heavy, super heavy weight on your back or something and just go all out and just hope that the thing holds. Just, uh, you know, make sure you're working on that core stability, keeping that internal pressure with your core so you're not just like busting out the gut, you know, stretching like the mesh, stuff like that. Um, but it should be pretty strong, guys. Like, I, I had to get to the point, guys, where, you know, uh, I was pretty disappointed in where my training was at, how I was progressing. And I was like, you know, you're eventually going to have to get back to your 100% training run. I know you feel these certain things and feel a certain way about it. But if it's going to fail, it's going to fail eventually. So you may as well go all out and, you know, train. I don't train exactly how I used to, but train like I used to. Giving you 100% all that effort and just, you know, trust the surgery. If it fails, you know, you've got to go back and get surgery again. Is what it is. But, you know, I had to get done what I had to get done in the gym um, to get back on stage. Because obviously, my last video I talked about my pro debut being in October, which was October 2020. Now it's February 2021. So, you know, obviously that didn't happen. But, you know, I'm happy with where I'm at. Everything's been delayed, I guess, a little bit. Um, looking like my pro debut is going to be in September right now. And so that's what we're working towards. So, <clears throat> I know this video is kind of all over the place, but something that I did, guys, um, when I was going back to the gym, the guys kept on like coming loose that I had wrapped around me, which gave me my support and comfort. Um, so, what I ended up doing is when I switched to the belt, the belt wasn't high enough to cover where the surgery was to be able to give the support that I needed. So, I got a waist trainer, guys. Um, I'd recommend getting one that is breathable because really the main goal for me wasn't waist training. It was more for just support. So when I got my original waist trainer, it was like a thermal one that makes you sweat. And that was just making me overheat in the gym and kind of miss my workouts that way. But I did find a good one that was uh, breathable, that gave me the support I wanted, that didn't like hinder my workouts at all. So that's something I did that I recommend to you guys. Um, I have gotten to the point where now I just use a belt, don't need the waist training anymore. Everything feels pretty normal. So some of you guys who reached out to me, you know, you guys weren't bodybuilders. You're just, you know, everyday normal people, people who were competing in track and field like I used to back in college. And, uh, you know, um, now having gone through this all, say I wasn't a bodybuilder, I honestly don't think I ever would have got the surgery done. Um, it was just the fact that me knowing my profession, knowing what I was going to do, um, my plans for growth and everything, that was probably that something going to be inevitable for me. So... If I were to go back and get it done, I would still do it. But for anyone else, if it's not something that's like really hindering you, causing you pain, um, you know, something that like you need to get done, I wouldn't do guys unless it's like really bothering you or you have an excessive hernia that's, you know, done for aesthetic reasons because you have a big bulge that you want to get fixed that way, you know, that's on you. But in general, um, unless it's necessary, you know, the recovery is long, it did throw me off for a lot of things. So uh, I don't think I'd recommend it for anyone who uh, doesn't like necessarily like, need it to be done. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for I have to say. Um, that's pretty much how everything went post-surgery, you know. Um, just to do a quick overview, you know, those first six weeks, take it easy, slowly get your body ready and primed to get back in the gym. And then pretty much just see how your body feels. Push it, see what you can do, see what you can't do. See what exercises work, you know, rethink your training, um, and just adjust to it, you know. You just got to adapt, you guys. Um, if you get it done, um, it's over with. You just got to deal with it now. So like I said, I had to get in that mindset of, um, you know, if it's going to fail, it's going to fail eventually. So just, you know, get back to it, right? That's what it came to for me. Um, and then, uh, yeah, everything since the October has been pretty smooth, guys. Um, something I don't even think about anymore. So, you know, if you guys have any more questions for me, comment in the comment section below. Um, shoot me a DM on Instagram. And uh, yeah, if you guys would like to see another video or me go over something in detail, comment below and I can make another video or something like that. And I'm more active on YouTube now, so stay tuned for my video, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and uh, keep them coming, guys. Yeah, see you.